<sighs> What's up, guys? It's Liquid here, West Texas Vaping Coalition. I have some uh, another juice review to do from Eduardo, and Eduardo has finally come out with a name for his juice line that he's doing here in Odessa, Texas. It's called Shake and Bake. <laughs> Sorry, just had to do it. I thought shit was funny. No, I want to give you some of that Shake and Bake. Par shake, par vape, shake and vape. Anyway, shake and vape is what he's going to call it. I think it's pretty cool. And we got a logo set up. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's going to be really cool. But he gave me he gave me four flavors to review. And then he gave me two flavors. Check it out. He gave me two flavors with no names on them. Mystery. So uh, we'll try those later. Uh, let's see. Tonight we have... 12 milligrams of maple, and his all his blends are 50-50. I got uh, Icy Menthol at 6 milligrams. I have Juicy Fruit at 6 milligrams. And then I have something he's been working on for a while now. It's a RY4 blend that he did at 12 milligrams, and it must be really good because you see all the big, huge bottles he gave me. Here's the RY4 he gave me. And look, it's almost gone. So this must have been like his like personal stash or something and he didn't want to give me a nice big fat bottle of it so thanks Ed <laughs> I'm just kidding man so a lot of people have been talking about Eduardo's juices here locally I don't know if you guys seen any chatter on West Texas Vaping Coalition over on Facebook a lot of people are loving his uh the peach that he came up with it's freaking phenomenal I really like his flavors they're really good and the cool thing is is like they're they might sound simple, but they're very complex. I liked it. I, he put time into them, and you can tell that he revised them and revised them and revised them, and he made them just perfect. You know, that's the cool thing that I like about Ed. He, he works out in the oil field, so he works very, very hard. I mean, he's hardly ever home, but the spare time that he has, you know, he puts into his juices. I met his wife the other night. Really nice person. I actually got over to the house and uh, showed him my uh, mods that I got from Glass City Mods, and uh, he took one of them. I need my mod back, bro. Anyway, they're making him a, a custom mod as well. I just got off the phone with uh, with Rick, in case you're watching it. He said that he's all done with it, and all he has to do, he's got all the milling and everything down. It's just assembly, and then he's shipping it off to you, so you'll have yours really soon. So, let's uh, start off with, um, what do I want to start off with? We're going to start off with Icy Menthol. Icy Menthol, it's, it's a very thick liquid, so that's cool. It drips. It like holds the bottle very well. Like wine, you want to see if it holds the bottle. And it does. So that's good. This is Icy Menthol. That's all it says. He didn't really give me any kind of descriptions. He's cool like that. He's like, no, I just want you to vape it and you tell me what you think. So uh, we'll see what happens. And, he, and he's weird because like, Ed is the kind of guy like, he wants me to do reviews, but yet he doesn't want me to do reviews because he doesn't want to upset anybody because he, th he still thinks like his juices aren't as good as I'm saying they are. And it's not because like he gives me juices. I pay for my juices. You know, it's not like anybody ever really gives me anything. I pay for what I get. You know, that because th that way you guys know that I'm not, you know, swayed because they gave me something. So Ed, your juices are good, bro. So just chill the hell out and keep making them. Anyway, icy. Gosh, that is thick. Icy menthol. We're gonna do two drops on my little mini tutor here. Let's put the lid back on. It smells good. It's very sweet. And same as every other Deer's Review, just using this, uh, let me get my air holes right, little tutor that I got, and it's a 3 ohm coil sitting on organic cotton, fresh organic cotton, and it is on my Proveri, that is beat all the hell, but still works like a champ, 3.7 volts, excuse me, and uh, this is Icy Menthol from Shake and Vape. Wow. Was well, not what I thought it was going to be. It, it's not. It's not like a like a really harsh or freezing cold menthol. It's got very good flavor. It's a little cool, but it's not. It's not like Sub Zero from Halo, where it just freezes everything on your way down. It's got a very good flavor to it, man. It, on the back side.
That is two drops on a dinky little piece of cotton, boys and girls. And that thing is lasting. I just want to I want to check something. So I've been vaping a lot today. I'm gonna to clear my palate. I'm gonna vape this one more time. Man, it's got a really good blend between menthol and like a sweetness. Like not not a sweetener. It's not by by far not a sweetener. I don't know what the icy side is that he's using. Maybe that's where the sweetness is coming from. But it's really good blend. It almost tastes like almost tastes like the 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 menthol or the mint side of a Marlboro Smooth cigarette, but no tobacco. There's not a tobacco. If there if he has tobacco in here, it's nil because it's not in there. I don't taste it. And it is at six milligrams of nicotine, so my throat hit is not there. You know, I do twelve milligrams of nicotine, so really can't say anything about throat hit and this is what he had so I needed to get something from him. I didn't want to have to have make him you know make a special one so for me throat hit six milligrams of nicotine it's non-existent uh, vapor production vapor production is top-notch and I don't know how many tugs I put on this if some of you guys will go rewind and check please do go ahead I'll wait However many times it has, that's two drops. Two drops. That thing lasts a long time. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a thumbs up, Ed, on the on the icy menthol. I think you did a really good job on that one. That one tastes really good. Be better at twelve. So I'm gonna get everything cleaned up. We're gonna go on to the next flavor, so uh, sit tight. Okay guys, we are all cleaned up from uh, juicy menthol. Uh, the next one I'm going to try that uh, Eduardo gave me from Shake and Vape is a maple. That's it. It just says maple. It's 12 milligrams of nicotine. Let's see if we got a surprise here. That's friggin' maple. One, two. All day maple. It's very thick and it's nice, nice yellow hue. He doesn't use food coloring either. Let's try uh, maple. Wow. I'll say this. On this one, it's maple. Throat hit is 12 milligrams. You know, I have 12 milligrams of nicotine. It's perfect. I mean, he nails it every single time. It's just right where I want it. I love, I love his Nick strengths. They're perfect. They're not because sometimes you get them they're a little low, a little bit high. But his, out of the twelve flavors that I've gotten from him, they've all been just on point and they're all consistent, which is a good thing. I know a lot of DIY people out there. You know, they might a little bit here off, a little bit there off, but his has been consistent all the way through. He needs a brick and mortar store. Um, <laughs> the maple is all I can say is maple. It's like I. Flip the top on Aunt Jemima and just drank the bottle. It's very, very mapley. This is a, uh, it's a really good flavor. It's something that you say, hey, you're here, try this, and it's really good. Uh, I couldn't vape it all day. There is no way impossible. It's just very rich, 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 rich maple flavor. Might be good like with a tobacco blend. Uh, maybe you got like a nice, you know, real rich, deep tobacco that you want to just kind of flip the script a little bit. You could add a couple drops of this maple and um, it would definitely make it come alive. Uh, to put it in a tank and vape it all day long, it just there's it would be impossible. But it is a good, this would be a, another one of those mixers. This would be something, this maple would be really good to mix with something else. I almost taste the butter. Mm -hmm. mm. Mix this with like a waffle. Vape Shack's got a waffle, like a plain waffle flavor. Mix that with a maple. That'd be what's up. I'm almost, <laughs> I'm almost willing to take the top off of this bottle and try some on my tongue to see if it tastes like it vapes, because it's very, very mapley, and I'm not going to do that because a lot of times my wife will will admit to this. Like when she buys Yankee candles, she gets like the peppermint, or she'll get the mint chocolate chip cookie flavored, or, or scented, or whatever. And for some strange reason, I think that man, that's going to taste like it smells and. 
it never does. The only one that tasted remotely close was the peppermint one that uh, Jack Frost or whatever. That one tasted like peppermint, but a lot of wax because it's a freaking candle. So I'm not going to do that. But Ed, I like this one, but I would use it as a mixer bro. And once again, two drops. Good vapor, good throat hit. Seemed to last a while. Mm -hmm. I like it. I dig it. Maybe in the morning with my coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say yeah. That's good. Maple. Shake and vape. Get you some. Alright, I'm going to get cleaned up really quick and we're going to go on to the next one which is Juicy Fruit. So stay right where you're at. Alrighty boys and girls, we are back. Testing some juices from Eduardo from Shake and Vape. Uh, the next one that I'm going to try is Juicy Fruit. 6 milligrams of nicotine. 2 drops. 1, 2. This one's a thicken. Same thing. Here we go. Juicy fruit. Hmm. This freaking juicy fruit. Reminds me exactly of um juicy fruit gum. But I've had sorry guys. Very good vapor production. Um, I've had Juicy Fruit from several different companies. I think I got one from Good Life. I think Good Life has one. And, um, God, there's some other one that I tried. Was it from Black Cloud? I can't remember. I know the one from Good Life. And it, you know, tastes like Juicy Fruit gum. But this one is not like that. It, it's not, it's not like a really heavy, fruity type flavor. It's very soft. It's, it's a mild flavor. But, and, uh, you can almost taste, like, if you remember how Juicy Fruit, I'm old, so I know there's probably some kids watching. You probably, Back in my day, when you bought Juicy Fruit gum, it was in foil wrapper. If you guys remember the foil wrapper, that was a Juicy Fruit gum. It almost tastes like the powder that was like on that, uh, like on the inside of that foil wrapper, how it kind of tasted weird after the foil sat on it for a while. Tastes like It tastes like Juicy Fruit freaking gum. Like that should have been a bubble. Um, throat hit's not there. It's got six milligrams. I'm not. I don't have a throat hit, but um, the flavor is great. I could I could vape this one all day. This is this would be definitely an all day vape. It's not it's not too heavy on the on the flavoring. A lot of people they make their flavors and they're just like punching in your face flavor. And they're really good when you try them out, but once you put it in a tank, you get sick of it. And uh, this is not <laughs> definitely not one of them. I'm liking this one. I like gum, so. Two drops again, and it just keeps going. I don't know. I, maybe you should change your name, brother, to like Enervape. Like the Energizer Bunny, you just have like a picture of this with a drum. Because two drops, and it just, it just lasts forever. Vapor is phenomenal. Like I said, once again, on that little piece of cotton, that's dinky piece of cotton. I know you guys are probably looking at the vapor and being like, "Oh, I've seen you know other reviews where they just had plumes and plumes and plumes of smoke or vapor." Um, the reason why I don't have that much vapor is, well, here, I'll try and show you. I don't know if you can see it because I got still working on my crappy camera. That little dinky piece of cotton. I'm shaky. That's it. Because it's just easier for me to do that and uh, take a quick, you know, a couple quick vapes, drip again if I have to. It's easier for cleanup. Like every time I clean it up, I put a fresh piece of cotton in there just so there's no nothing else getting in the way of whatever it is that I'm vaping at that time. I like my reviews to be fresh. Fresh. Like juicy fruit. Hmm. Get that at 12 milligrams, brother, and you definitely got you definitely got yourself a hit. 
very good throat hit would be if you do your 12s like you do all your other 12s awesome throat hit good vapor production <laughs> fantastic flavor juicy fruit for me definitely thumbs up and uh get yourself some because that is really good if uh, you need to know how to get a hold of ed over at shake it vape just go ahead and uh, email me at westtextvc at gmail.com and uh, I'll get it set up and I'll get you in contact with Eduardo and he'll be able to mail these out to you. Very good. And it just keeps going. I'm going to get cleaned up. We're going to move on to ta -da, the RY4. I'm picky, so Ed, don't be mad if I'm upset with the RY4. Check it out. Ed's uh, texting me right now. <coughs> wanting to know when his review is going to be done. So if you keep texting me, I'm not going to get it done, brother. I'm getting to it. Getting to your RY4 right now. Now, like I said before, you see the big bottles that he gives me. Big monster bottles. Here's his RY4. Look at this thing. And <laughs> it's not even filled. That's what's left. You really can't tell because of the lighting, but see how, there it goes. See how nice and dark and pretty that is? It's a golden color. It's not brown. It's not clear. It's golden. That's the way the RY4 is supposed to look. Now, I do get upset sometimes because, like I said, I've tried a lot of RY4s, and the problem that I have with a lot of RY4s is they're just very, very, very dry. Very dry. Like, burnt almost. Uh, a proper RY4 is going to be your vanilla, caramel, and then your tobacco. That's going to make an RY4. I know there's RY6s and all that. RY4. Google it and look at the history of a real RY4 and where it came from and how the original recipe died with the person that made it, gripped in his hand, and people want to dig him up to try to get it. Backstory. Anyway, RY4. One and two. Two drops. Maybe I should only did one since my bottle is a sixty-fourth of a milliliter. I'm just kidding, Ed. I appreciate you. Okay, here we go, RY4. Shake and vape. Edward. Eduardo. Odessa. That, my friend, Boys and girls, this is what RY4 is supposed to taste like. It is not supposed to taste dry. I shouldn't have to drink water after I vape an RY4. I should just be very happy, and I'm very happy with this blend. It's a very wet, moist, very well-balanced RY4. This is the way RY4 is supposed to taste. I love RY4 that tastes like this. This... Good going, brother. I'm liking what's on the end, too. There's a very good, very, very, very small addition to an R this RY4. I, I think I would change it to RY4 Plus, because it's not an RY4. For what's on the end of it. But that is very good, Ed. Very, very good. That makes me want more. This makes me want to put it into my Ithaca, or makes me want to put it into my Russian, or, you know, into my Zen Addy, and just sit back and enjoy this. I know a lot of people vape for the sake of big clouds. I know people, you know, are trying to vape to get off of uh, analog cigarettes, and that's great. That's awesome. But this right here. This is not, <laughs> this is an experience. This RY4 is actually an experience, and people need to experience a good RY4. This is a wonderful RY4, and I, um, I don't know, I, this is, I would say, hey, anybody in the area get a hold of me, and I'll, and I'll drip some for you so you can taste it, but hey, I only got a little bit, and I hope it wasn't just an experiment, and I hope, I hope you wrote down 
whatever your percentages were because you knocked this one completely out of the park brother this one by far is the best RY4 other than uh, there was an RY4 I tried about four years ago from a company in, in Japan one of my friends in Toledo was getting some stuff from Japan and uh, that was a really good RY4 that was the same thing and it made me mad because like he wouldn't let me take any home but I could always go over to his house and vape it and I don't know if it's just because he didn't have very many friends and that's how he got us over there I'm not really sure but man Ed please get back in the room and make me a 30 mil bottle and then every three days make me another 30 mil bottle at 12 milligrams of nicotine too brother so that is awesome let's go through flavor throat hit and vape flavor perfect don't mess with it don't touch it don't add anything don't take anything away leave that the way it is matter of fact don't even make me any yet Ed, because I don't want it in a in a plastic bottle I'll bring you over some some tinted glass bottles with glass drippers and you can put that in for me and you can charge me or not but charge me whatever and I'll, I'll buy that that is a great great flavor throat hit 12 milligrams right where it needs to be Hits me right. I got just enough punch, but not enough to where I'm coughing and, and going crazy and getting scratchy. And the vapor, mm hmm. Vapor is outstanding. I don't understand what you do to make your the your juices last because they last. I mean, usually I'll put two drops on something get four or five tugs on it and it's just starting to get drier I'm losing flavor I might still get vapor but I'm losing the flavor your flavor lasts until it's dried out and then you know you get just a dry burn RY4 from Shake and Vape is very good that's going into my case when I get a big enough bottle to fit into my case I'm going to be vaping that actually I think I'm going to uh, I'm going to put that in one of my, uh, either my Ithaca or my K-Fun light that I got coming. I think I'll wait for that. So, very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eduardo from uh, Shake and Vape. I'm going to get cleaned up. We have the two more, uh, the two flavors that don't have anything written on them. And we're going to vape those. Unbelievable. Laura. Hey, guys. We're back. I'm going to do some vaping of a, a mystery flavor from Shake and Vape. Mr. Eduardo gave me six flavors this time, and uh, we're going to try the mystery flavor. Ooh. <laughs> that smells like something from my childhood, very familiar. Two drops. This one's thick, too. Here we go, mystery flavor number one. That's Wrigley Spearmint Gum. Sure is. Wow. That is, that is yummy. That tastes just like Wrigley's. Not Double Mint, not in the green pack. The Wrigley Spearmint Gum in the white pack that for some reason not a lot of people liked. And I, I loved it. I loved it. It was good. Flavor is really good, man. I like that one. Throat hit, not really, it's a little light on the throat hit, but there's nothing on here. So I don't know if it's 6 milligrams or 8 milligrams or 12. I don't think it's 12 because it's hitting a little bit light. It doesn't, doesn't feel like 12 milligrams of nicotine. But the flavor is really, really good, and it's got a good aroma to it in itself. When you smell this in the bottle, like if you guys come up and check me out and I let you smell it, that's exactly how it vapes. Two drops.
That tastes exactly like Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. That's pretty good. So I got a Juicy Fruit and a Wrigley's. And I got a big bottle of that. Look at that. That's, check it out. Can you see? It's full. Let me vape it on that for a hot minute. Thanks, brother. Wrigley's. That's what it tastes like. I don't know if you can call it Wrigley's because copyright or whatever. So figure something out, brother, because that's really good. I'm going to get cleaned up. We're going to go to the next one. Okay, guys, I cheated a little bit and I smelled the next one. I think I know what it is, so I'm going to do an introduction for it. Here we go. You ready? Psst, hey. I got something, man. You want to try it? It's the chronic. It's chronic. Dude, I just want to get that stuff and do what I need to do, but I, you know, can't do that no more because I got, like, you know, a job. Here it is. Psst. Check it out. No sticks, no steeds, no stems, brother man. It's all 100% natural.